Rover Streetwise L Series engine, Peugeot, PSA, Honda engine, whoever it was that made it, kind of day. But it is rather drizzly. And my intention was to have that gearbox, the engine taken off the gearbox yesterday. But um, things got in the way. As you can probably tell, I've used my winch to pull the engine up the ramps and onto the back of the truck. I now need my engine hoist, engine crane, to lift it up so I can get to all the bolts underneath. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That drive shaft's just popped out. <laughs> that must have been goosed. Now, because it's wet and it's an oily job, I've changed my jacket to the old one. I didn't really want that nice the new one off of Richard getting spoilt. There we go, an explanation. It's not a continuity issue. It's not perfect conditions for this kind of job at all. Still drizzly and the progress isn't brilliant. Too many seized on bolts. So the combination of seized on bolts, rain and muck everywhere. It's just perfect. Could be worse. At least I haven't run out of tea bags. Yes, I have. Having to take the turbo off to get the last gearbox bolt. I don't want to show you because it's raining. My phone's not waterproof since I've cracked the screen. As you can see, the engine and gearbox is no longer attached to the subframe and the turbo has gone. I think I've got rid of all of the bolts attaching the gearbox. That's usually when you find out as you're giving it a knock with a soft hammer it's not moving, but there's one still underneath that you haven't got to. Engine detached from the gearbox, and now it can go inside this box. You know what I dislike about diesels? This. And that's after my hands have been cleaned. Pity it was too wet for me to film this going in the box because it was a right ball ache. The next problem is moving the engine to the correct location. The L series engine's far too heavy for this particular trolley. Well, I mean, it's not, but once you start to tip it, you don't know if it's going to stop. And then you've got the trouble of trying to get it back up again. So... It's actually stopped drizzling. That's rather fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Maybe it could uh, just brighten up as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, that would be great. I'd be grateful for, for that. If they could make diesel engines without all this oil and carbon everywhere. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd be grateful for that. And a cup of tea. And a pasta. Turbo, it's an L series turbo. My back is ruined. It really hurts. And maybe I'm getting too old for messing around with cars. Or maybe doing this kind of thing outside just isn't really sustainable anyway. Maybe I'm just being a wimp. Maybe I should just chuck it all in and get myself an office job. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have even suggested that. Maybe a bike ride will help my back. Maybe it will make it worse. Maybe it won't rain tomorrow and I'll have a lovely day. Maybe the yard cat will make an appearance tomorrow. That would be nice. I've not seen yard cat for quite a while. Maybe I should make a video called 112 uses for cable ties. Maybe I should sell my Rover 600. Maybe I should have another walk around the yard before I go. Apparently I've got a dirty face. Maybe I should end this video right here. Maybe I shouldn't have even started today in the first place. Cows! Cows! Maybe I should grow a beard.